And there's a V3 out there. A V3, I didn't catch the rest. Go ahead. Yes, it's uh, Victor Echo 3 X-ray of Bravo Oscar uh, Bart in Meaford, Ontario. How are you, Jim? Well, hello, Bart. How you doing, sir? Um, very well. I heard that you were talking to my neighbor, neighbor <laughs> Ray, uh, VE3DDU. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We were working on things, and I think uh, I think he's going to like what he hears on the on the uh, air check. Roger. Check, Roger. Ah, uh, very good. Very good. Uh, yes, he's running also 7300 uh, beautiful radios. Uh, um, I'm still running the um, ICOM 7100, and I took your suggestion and I upped the uh, um, the treble a little bit um, on the transmit side, uh, and uh, it seems to give me a little bit more articulation, as you said. That's it, Roger. Now, if you uh, want to go down to your bottom end and kind of uh, crank in just a little bit more on the bottom, I love your top end. You're exactly right on your top end, but uh, you could you could use a little on the bottom end now. Maybe a two clicks uh, pl uh, uh, boost on the bottom end, Roger. Roger. Okay. Uh, very good. I just boosted uh, the bottom end a little bit. Roger, and I am having to go to back and forth between my uh, local receiver and uh, Milford uh, PA SDR, and uh, I can talk to me some more. And let me let me go back and forth again because uh, uh, there is a discrepancy. These SDRs are, um, I think, a, a kind of uh, deficient in the bottom end. Uh, that's what I'm beginning to think that the SDRs are not quite as full uh, from flat on the bottom end as they could be. So uh, come back and uh, talk to me just a little bit, and let me go back and forth a couple of times. Times. Yeah, no problem, Jim. Uh, yes. Depends uh, what bitrate they're encoding and, and streaming out onto the Internet. And, uh, and uh, I noticed uh, uh, there are so many different settings uh, with, uh, with uh, different bit rates, and some of them uh, cut off the uh, high end, some of uh, cut off the low the low end, uh, so they're not very representative uh, on the, uh, of the ingredients uh, that it's uh, back to you. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I just started to notice that maybe a couple of weeks ago. I got in a couple of uh, uh, Amazon uh, Fire tablets, and I'm, I'm running a pair of those uh, for SDR monitoring. So I got two uh, uh, Fire tablets and uh, a computer. So I'm running uh, three SDRs and the uh, local receiver. And uh, I'm finding I'm a bit overtaxed trying to keep up with this. I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to uh, fare well in the SDR department because it just takes it takes a lot of concentration. And I would rather be concentrating on what I'm doing than trying to concentrate on, you know, <laughs> SDRs, Roger. Mr. Roger. Roger. Well, I've got a, a six-position rotary input select uh, for the uh, receiver channel onto my mixer, so I can load it up fairly well. You know, and it, it you know it's uh, four positions out of six, and I got uh, you know a couple t to left over. And you know, you can uh, check out a um, an audio source. On a rotary switch, you can check out uh, five or six in about a second and a half, and so that's what I'm doing. It's a holdover from my antenna um, uh, selector. When I uh, was on 10 meters for about two and a half years, I had a bunch of uh, 10 meter antennas, and they were coming into a six position rotary switch, and uh, so I could just uh, you know zing through uh, you know in about a second and a half and check out uh, you know uh, you don't really look at a meter. Uh, you're listening to uh, pretty much uh, white noise on UHF and VHF, Roger. Roger. Which uh, you can do it pretty quickly. Anyways, I won't hold you up, uh, uh, Jim. You probably have tons of stations uh, trying to get in. And uh, uh, great to hear you. And uh, once again, uh, thank you uh, for your input, uh, VE3, uh, Castillo. 
Roger, Roger, Bar 3's that way, sir, sounding good down towards uh, Louisville. We are just across the river, the mighty Ohio River from Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, it's uh, good to be in this location because we can equally go north and south uh, about uh, as well as each other. Uh, we usually do uh, fairly well from uh, Montreal to Miami and uh, from New York to New Mexico. And a lot of that is because of our uh, geographic location in the central part of the uh, of the country it's hard to uh, to go from uh, if you were in Miami to go all the way to Montreal except on special skip uh, occasions you know but this way um, on a Friday afternoon we can pretty much uh, uh, cover the uh, eastern seaboard for sure and uh, if uh, you would like to check out your audio give us a shout we are recording from now until five and uh, we uh, uh, extend an invitation for you to uh, check in and uh, give us a shout. This is KC9 VKV.